This week, NASA conducted the first ever planetary defense test mission with the Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART, intentionally colliding with an asteroid to see whether or not the orbit of such a large space rock can be shifted. The kinetic impactor method is one of the many methods we have to safeguard our planet. It's an easy idea to grasp. The method is especially effective when used far in advance because small adjustments now can result in significant changes later. Targets for DART were particularly suitable for Didymos and Dimorphos. Despite their size, they pass in front of one another when viewed from Earth. As Dimorphos circles Didymos, they appear to optical ground-based telescopes as a single point of light that varies in brightness. The interval of those fluctuations could have changed as a result of DART's impact. Many eyes on Earth and in the sky saw the September 26 test, during which the DART spacecraft collided with a small moon of the asteroid Diamorphos at 7.14 p.m. Eastern Time. JWST has provided the first photographs from space after the steady arrival of data from ground-based telescopes. Not only has JWST aimed itself in the direction of this groundbreaking expedition, but so have other space telescopes. The Hubble Space Telescope was also sent to observe, but we have not yet seen the results. Data from NASA's Lucy mission, which is headed to the Trojan asteroids that share Jupiter's orbit, will be downloaded in October. While waiting for that to happen, we may benefit from the observations of many more ground-based telescopes. Furthermore, a high-resolution camera called DRACO that was also used for navigation was the only scientific tool aboard DART. It was modeled after a camera similar to one found on NASA's New Horizons spacecraft. A CubeSat created by the Italian Space Agency was launched by DART on September 11th to track the impact. The primary spacecraft was switched to an autonomous navigation mode four hours before impact because it was too far away from Earth for flight controllers to control it in real time. The spacecraft's computer used images from Draco to distinguish between Didymos and Dimorphos to steer it toward the latter. Then it came to an end. DART struck into Dimorphos on September 26 at a speed of around 14,000 miles per hour. Dimorphos' orbital period should have changed from 11.9 to 11.8 hours as a result of the impact, a difference of only 4.2 minutes. As a result, Didymos and Dimorphos will get a little bit closer. DART spacecraft's death has been predetermined ever since the mission concept was conceived. The science, however, begins after the mission is over. The European Space Agency is launching the HERA mission to conduct in-depth research on Didymos and Dimorphos. This will enable scientists to examine DART's impact crater and comprehend the mission's full impact. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.